Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about the coefficient of correlation. Right? So we're going to be talking about the coefficient of correlation. Now uh, in the previous video you must have watched about uh, the coefficient of determination wherein the value of r square which is actually the coefficient of correlation was uh, the summation of xi yi whole square divided by the summation of xi square into summation of yi square. Now what is coefficient of correlation which is kind of the under root of these values. So r is actually going to be equal to the summation of xi yi divided by summation of xi square into summation of yi square and under root of it. Well, in this video, we're not going to be talking about this expression or anything. Basically, we're going to be talking about the properties of this coefficient. This is actually known as uh, the sample correlation uh, coefficient, right? So that is what it's known as. Now, there are a few properties of this coefficient. Now, first of all, uh, you know, if I kind of expand this, the value of R, this is going to be equal to summation of Xi, that is X big xi minus x bar into yi which is yi minus y bar as you already know these are small x and small y's which are actually the deviations divided by the under root of so what do we have here that is the summation of xi uh, whole square that is the summation of xi minus x bar whole square into summation of yi minus y bar whole square Right. So this is what we have as the coefficient of correlation. Now there are a few properties uh, that are associated with R. That is that is something that you have to understand. Now first property is that uh, the value of R uh, it actually lies between uh, negative one and one. So the value of R lies between negative one and one. Now when so if you look at this expression here, now if the val uh, when will the value of R be equal to one? So, uh, you know, this is something here which is gonna, always going to remain positive. That means everything depends on this term over here. Uh, well, if this turns out to be negative, then the whole expression is negative. If this turns out to be positive, then the whole expression is positive. Now, as I said, the value of R is between negative 1 and 1. The value of R is equal to 1 means that X and Y are perfectly correlated with each other, right? So, you know, they are positively correlated with each other. And uh, when R is equal to negative 1, that means they are negatively correlated to each other. So, that means over here, the relation correlation is positive and over here, the correlation is negative. So, uh, this would be, so let's suppose if I say this is Y and this is X. And uh, if this is this is what we're gonna get if r is equal to one, and uh, this is what we're gonna get if at r is actually equal to negative one. As you can clearly see that uh, in this case over here, uh, there is a negative relationship between x and y as x increases, y decreases, and in this case, as x increases, y also increases. So these are the limits, and. Uh, R can also actually take values between 1 and negative 1. So if I just show you these values, in this in this case, uh, you know, somewhat positive relationship is there. So that means R is actually, you know, it's actually greater than 0, but not actually equal to 1. And in this case, you know, somewhat negative relationship is there. That means R is actually lesser than 0. Uh, and uh, in this case, you can clearly see there is no correlation at all. Sometimes R X decreases when Y decreases. Sometimes X increases when Y decreases. That means in this case, there is no correlation at all. That means in this case, R is actually equal to 0. So this is the first property of this here. Uh, you suppose you've understood this. And uh, let's talk about the, sec the second property. Uh, that is uh, the, the value of R is actually symmetrical in nature. Right. So the value of R is symmetrical in nature. Uh, when I say symmetrical, that, uh, that means if I calculate the coefficient of correlation between X and Y, which will actually be known as R X Y, or if I calculate the coefficient of correlation between Y and X, that will actually be known as R Y X. Uh, the value of R will actually be same in both the cases. So R X Y is going to be equal to R Y X. So that means the coefficient of correlation is actually symmetrical in nature, right? 
So suppose you're getting this also. Now let's talk about next property, which is the third property that uh, the value of R is actually independent. So it's independent of the origin and scale. So what do you mean by that? It's independent of the origin and scale. So let's suppose if I calculate the coefficient of correlation, the value of R between X and Y, and I calculate the value of R between X star and X, Y, Y star, where X star is actually equal to uh, AX, let's say it's actually equal to AX uh, plus some number, let's say C, and Y star is actually equal to BY, plus d. Now the coefficient of correlation here and the coefficient of correlation here is going to be equal. It's going to be the same. Uh, so that means that r is something which is independent of these things over here, right? So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be the same. So that means r is independent of the origin and of scale. So, you know, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, where do you start your, you know, your, your x and y values from. Uh, at the end of the day, all we have to test is how X and Y are related to each other rather than their initial values and their end values. So that's one property. Another property of uh, the coefficient of correlation that, uh, you know, the, 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 if, if let's suppose if I say X and Y are independent of each other. So when I say the, if X and Y are independent of each other, that means the value of X does not affect the value of y at all then the coefficient of correlation will actually be equal to zero right so however if y were to say that if r is equal to zero does that mean that they both the the uh, you know this the x and y are independent of each other i cannot say that why because uh, you know x and y can actually be related non-linearly you know and one more thing one more property of uh, you know r that it only talks about linear relationship between two variables it does not talk about uh, a quadratic relationship uh, and in this case as you know that uh, if i say y is equal to x square now in this case the value of r is going to come down to zero because this is actually a quadratic relationship rather than linear relationship that means there is a relationship between x and y however it's not linear relationship so if I say R is equal to zero, that does not mean that they are independent of each other. They still might be dependent, but act in actually a very different way, right? So, you know, I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. So one more property that I will actually like to talk about is that uh, even though R talks about the re linear relationship uh, between the variables, it does not account for any cause and effect relationship. So it doesn't, it does not. Uh, it does not account for any cause and effect uh, relationship, right? So I'll just write that down. This does not account for any uh, any cause and effect relationship, right? So uh, that's there about this video, guys. I suppose you understood, uh, you know, the importance of this value of R that is uh, that is actually derived from the coefficient of uh, determination, which was actually this. And once we under root it, we get the coefficient of uh, correlation. Uh, that is actually this and from here we can actually uh, you know from this value of r we can actually make out what is the rela what is the extent of relationship linear relationship between two variables and there are there were a few properties that we discussed that, uh, that the value of r can be between 1 and negative 1 it has to be symmetrical uh, r is actually symmetrical in nature and it's independent of origin and scale uh, and uh, if uh, x and y, if r is equal to zero, that does not always mean that they are independent of each other. And uh, it always talks about linear relationships. And uh, though it talks about linear relationship, it doesn't account for any cause and effect uh, relationship between the variables. So this would be about this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Just make sure that you explore perfect-scores.com. Uh, it's a it's a website that you must and must and must watch. Uh, and this would be our Facebook page to give us your valuable like to show appreciation and this would be our email address to give us your valuable feedback. So thank you very much about this video.